Is this worth twice the price of this? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome back, and before we go any further, I just want to say how well Mattel Creations did with this release of Camel Can. Now, the pre-order went live last Friday at 12 noon. This then arrived six days later. That is fantastic service, and uh, really can't fault Mattel Creations for that. Now, the question I asked was, is this worth twice the price of this? Now, this is a regular release Cobra Can figure, um, circa $17, $18 for this. This is the special edition Mattel Creations Camel Can figure, which had an asking price of 30 bucks plus shipping and taxes, means it's basically double the price of this one. So the question is, is it worth twice the price? The only way we can find out is to get them opened, but just to quickly go over the box here, as with all these Mattel Creations special edition figures, they come in these really nice cardboard boxes with some nice artwork there. And I should add as well, there were people saying that uh, because the Eternia playset was funded at that ridiculously high price, it then kind of gave Mattel license to charge whatever they want for these figures. But to be fair, this is being classed as a deluxe figure, as was the Sunman from Mattel Creations, which came out last year, I believe, and that too was 30 bucks. So no, Mattel did not raise the price on this. But anyway, let's get them out and see how they stack up. Right, we've got the figures out of the packet. Let's take a look at these side by side. So first up, the standard Cobra Khan. A pretty simple figure, actually. It comes with a handheld blaster, we have the detachable Venom Blast from his mouth, so if you don't wish to have that on display, you can easily take it out. Uh, the figure looks okay either way. I think I will leave it in for now. Um, nothing to really write home about. This is a very standard Origins figure. Looks okay, uh, but again, quite plain when compared to some of the other figures. As with all standard releases, comes with the comic book. This one does have the text in it. And on the back, you can see the other figures that are available in this current wave. Now, the Deluxe. As with the Sunman from Mattel Creations, the card back actually folds out quite nicely. They have some fantastic artwork. And it looks like a bit of a storyline here. I've not actually read it yet. But the artwork is beautiful. And I'm sure a lot of folks will have this you know, on display behind their figures. And I don't blame them. It is rather stunning. The figure itself, quite different from the standard Cobra Can. So the Camel Can obviously has somewhat of a camouflaged uh, paint job going on. And of course, this is sort of based on a 1987 figure that was released only in Argentina. So for Mattel Creations, they thought they would make it available in 2022 to the rest of the world. Now, Quite a lot of gold paint going on here. So we do have claw hands fitted as standard, but there are standard hands that come with it if you wish to switch them out. Uh, gold paint, obviously, on the claws, the belt, the boots. Now, in terms of the head, this head to me is far more impressive than the standard head. However, if the standard head is your thing, we do get, with the Deluxe, a standard head. Now, it is actually the same sculpt as the one that comes on the Cobra Can. It's just been painted differently, so it does look like a different head, but from what I can tell, it's the exact same sculpt. And that also has this sort of Venom Blast effect. Uh, this time it's blue as opposed to green on the standard one. Uh, same uh, blaster weapon done in orange that came with the standard, but we do get this Vac Metalized weapon Nice sort of shiny green there, rather nice. But to answer the question that I asked at the beginning, is this worth twice the price of this? Uh, the answer is absolutely not. Sure, it's nice to have a different head. Uh, the vac metalized weapon sure is nice, but there is no way that 
you know, with shipping and whatnot, that what you get here is worth twice what you paid for for this figure. Um, am I glad I got it? Yeah, because I've been suckered in and uh, I try to get as many of these as I possibly can. And it is a completely different looking figure. So it's not as if it's the same kind of deal with the Sun Man, where the Sun Man that came from Mattel Creations had some vac metalized parts and the standard release did not. Aside from that, they were the exact same figure. And of course, we now have a third Sun Man, courtesy of the recent three pack. So in that instance, it's not the same figure at all. Head sculpt for the smaller head is the same, but it's painted differently. There's nothing about these two figures that look the exact same. So on that basis, I don't mind having two different looking figures. I just think the price was quite excessive. Um, 17, 18 dollars for this one. Uh, I guess I'm guessing like 36, 37 with uh, sales tax for this one. Sales tax and shipping, I should add. For this one, there's. I would have said if this is a seventeen dollar figure, this is at most a twenty two dollar figure. So in my opinion, it's eight dollars too much. But hey, what can you do about that now? So please do let me know in the comments. What do you think of these two figures? Do you think this was overpriced, or do you think it was a fair price given the accessories and whatnot? So I hope you all enjoyed it. Please like the video. Please share the video, and if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe and stay tuned for more videos from All Things 80s.